Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a chatty get ready with me featuring this Valentine's Day appropriate look. This is perfect to wear on a date and it can definitely go from day to night. This look is drugstore only, which I know you guys really, really love. Here I am bringing another drugstore look. I think that this is my second one this year. So let's get into the makeup. First up going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Luminizing Primer. And this one, <laughs> you can see, just makes everything super glowy just gonna really give that a good rub in today i'm using the wet and wild foundation this is their photo focus foundation in golden beige i haven't used this one in ages but i do remember that i loved it from my first impressions i'm hoping that it's going to match me wow i'm putting a lot on I love that it has this spatula thing. It just makes it so easy to apply. Then going in with my Quartz Beauty Foundation Buffer. It's really easy to apply. It just like glides on. Definitely needs some more coverage. You can still see like a lot of my scars. I'll go in with a second coat and just kind of stipple it on. Hopefully the coverage will stay in place. I just open up a brand new beauty blender. So I'm just going to go over the top with that. This is not giving me the coverage that I'm used to. Going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Now I have two colors. I have Fair and I also have Light. I'll put on Fair first. Now you can see that it has pretty much like a pinky undertone, which is fine when I have fair skin, but I find that when I have like a bit of a tan on, it's not the right color. And then just take my beauty blender and blend that out. I haven't had a new beauty blender opened in so long. Honestly, the one that I've been using is way past its use day, but it's still okay. Like I take really good care of it and wash it after every use and everything. Or before every use. I'm just gonna highlight my under eyes and then also pop that on my eyelid. I know someone suggested use a concealer as an eye base instead of one that I don't like so I might try that today. The only drugstore loose powder that I can find right now is the Australis Banana Loose Powder. I'm just gonna pick that up and bake underneath my eyes with that. I haven't used this in a very long time. I can't remember when I first used it, but I don't know if I've used it since. I just find that I get a better effect when I use a translucent powder. Just got this True Match pencil stick thing. I'm just gonna pop that over some of the more heavier scarring, which is like everywhere. <laughs> then setting everything with my L'Oreal True Match powder. So last night I posted a picture on Instagram and asked you guys if you wanted to see maybe like a Valentine's Day video and one of you said that you wanted to see like a really chatty get ready with me and I haven't filmed in a while. I just, I haven't been up to it. Um, so it feels like a little bit weird coming on and just like chatting to you guys, even though I really want to chat to you guys. You know, sometimes when you haven't seen a friend for a while and at first it's just like, you don't know what to say to them. You've got so much to say to them, but you don't know how to get into it. Like you don't want to just dump, jump in straight away. It's kind of like that. It's so bizarre. Just using my Ardell Brow Pomade in Blonde. To be honest, 2019 has been a really rough start for me. I had like a little bit of a break from everything on social media. I just, sometimes social media can be such an amazing place, but if you're in the wrong headspace, it can be the worst thing for you. And I know some of you, most of you probably can relate to what I'm saying, especially if you're not feeling very strong within yourself, it can just be like hell. <laughs> so I did take a bit of time off. I didn't post a video for a couple of weeks and I didn't post a, an Instagram picture as well. Like I was literally, I didn't go on Facebook or even like Messenger or Instagram or anything just because I just needed some space, I needed space from everyone. And I felt really bad for withdrawing from all of my friends. But at the same time, I just wasn't up to, I just wasn't up to socializing at all. And I think that that is okay to do just as long as you know that you need to eventually go back. It can't go on forever. You can't shut off everyone forever. Just, it was yesterday that I'm like, okay, I've had enough time. I need to come back on and, 
and I was feeling good within myself and yeah. Which brings me to my next point. And I don't like, I'm just doing a makeup tutorial. I'm not gonna get upset, um, but I am working on something. I'm working on a video series and I'm not gonna lie, like I am so scared to put it out there. It's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. I'm going to try the Maybelline Lemonade Craze Palette. I'm going in with Sweet Tea on a soft crease brush from Quartz Beauty. And I'm just going to pop that in the crease. Now, I didn't previously use the, I can't remember. It was like, was it Sweet, Tenta Ten Sweet Temptations palette or something? I actually like had it for first impressions and then I just never got around to using it. So I just thought I would jump in and use this one straight away. I just got it yesterday. This color isn't as pigmented as kind of what I thought it would be. Back to what I was saying. So this series that I'm working on, it's not gonna be for everyone. I just started editing it was it yesterday or the day before? And it's so real that I I was really scared to edit it. It hasn't gone exactly the way that I had planned it, but nothing in life ever does. <laughs> so I thought, I'm just gonna put it out. It's not finished, it's still ongoing, but I think I'm at the point where I'm ready to share it with you guys. At the end of last year, I wasn't ready and I've done like a bit of soul searching and I think I'm ready to share this part of my life with you guys. I'm gonna take Coral Punch. Because it's so close to my heart, like I don't want people to feel sorry for me. I just want people to understand. That's all I want. And I want to more so than anything like spread awareness and make it a topic that we can all discuss. I'm not telling you exactly what it is yet. I am gonna make a trailer for the series, but I haven't put it all together yet. Uh, hopefully it will be out in like the next couple of weeks and I'm going to do one episode per week. And there's probably, well, at this stage, there's probably going to be maybe like 10 or so episodes. I'm really, really scared to share it with you guys. Like it's the most personal thing that I've ever done. And it's really scary, but I know that it's gonna help a lot of people. <sighs> so far, not really impressed with the eyeshadows. Like it doesn't really look like I've done that much. But I'm gonna take Ice Pop, which is a beautiful like red pink kind of color. I'm gonna pop that just on that outer V there. Like this is a nice color, but it's got no pigment. And this is on a precision blender. Let me just see if I can't. Oh my gosh. This is just like, like it's there, but it's not for how much I'm digging my brush into it. I haven't watched anyone's review on this. I did see a few reviews come through from the US when it first came out and they weren't exactly excited about it. <laughs> I think that we get the same palettes as the UK and Europe. Oh, this is just like a bit disappointing. I wish it were better. Like, I mean, it's okay. And the color is really, really nice. I just wish that it wasn't so wish-washy. Like, I'm just really trying to pack on that color, but it's, it's a little bit hard. This is what turns me off drugstore palettes and why I would recommend investing in something high-end because you never know what you're gonna get. I was gonna do like a whole dedicated video on this palette and I'm kind of glad that I didn't because it probably wouldn't be very good. Sweating my brush. Taking the color Strawberry Lemonade. Yes, that's really nice. Of course I did like wet my brush. It was very pretty. Like, I mean, I didn't wanna go like too out with this Valentine's Day look anyway. I honestly have been wearing such simple makeup lately. I feel like you're either like really just natural, normal kind of makeup or you're just like full glam these days. Like, I don't feel like there's anything in between. <laughs> I have this DB Cosmetics pencil, Orchid Frost. Okay, so it's like a metallic kind of lavender. I just clean out my waterline first. I just want to place that in the waterline and on the lower lash line. Ooh, that's, that's pretty. Taking a black pencil. This one is by Mud, which you can get from Woolworths. I'm going to run that on my inner 
waterline the top one. I'm just going to put like a really thin line. That was just with an essence liner, wasn't the best, but did the job, kind of. Just gonna spray some. So this is a DB Cosmetics spray and set. Let's use a bit of Savvy Clear Brow Gel to hold those bad boys down. This is the essence I need a miracle mascara. I think this is a bit old, but it's one of those L'Oreal bronzers. I think that they've got different bronzers now, but I'm just gonna use this around the edges of my face. Warm it up. This is on a domed bronzer brush from Quartz Beauty. I'm gonna use the NYX contour kit today. Mine's like a little bit trashed, but I'm gonna take these two colors here. Just contour with face sculpting brush. I'm gonna take this blush from the Astralis. These are their like um, single palettes. Well, there's like single things and you make your own palette. I'll leave the color of it linked down below. I'm gonna take this model's prefer highlight and I'm gonna take probably this gold one. one in the middle. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh, that's very gold. I'll take like the other one as well. Then on my little eye detailer brush, I'm taking Main Squeeze. I'm gonna highlight that in a corner. I feel like this color has, you know, one of those foiled tops. And then once you get past it, it's not that shimmery. I'm gonna try out this Flower Beauty. This is their Miracle Matte Lip in Nude Blush. Flower Beauty is, if you didn't know, a brand by Drew Barrymore, and it's now launched in Australia. So I believe you can get it from Chemist Warehouse. I really like that. The texture is quite wet. It goes on feeling really wet, but the feeling of it is so nice. The lashes that I have on a Quartz Beauty Amber, these are the most floaty fun lashes in the range. As you can see, like they're so wispy and they just elongate the eye. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go and do something with my hair. I haven't got any earrings in or anything, but um, I just put my hair like in a little pony type thing, but I also put in my Halo hair extensions. So you can't even tell that they're in, but I have like a little wire there and um, you can see like a little bit of them here, like if I lift my hair up, but they, like they're so much more comfortable than like clip-in hair extensions and, um, oh, we can see a bit of the color difference there. But when I have my hair down, like you can't tell at all. They look so good. My hair is just like a mullet right now. Like I've got all of these shorter bits from where my hair fell out when I lost so much weight. So don't mind the mole. I feel like I'm not glowy enough. Like I feel like I need more glow. I'm gonna take this highlight from this Astralis. I think that this is like the same highlight that is in the contour kit. Ah, uh, that's better. Just needed a little bit more glow. Like, I mean, the lip's nice, but I think some gloss would be really good. I don't think that they have this anymore, but this is just a Rimmel gloss. It's called Vinyl Gloss. Yes, love it. So this is the finished look. I love how it turned out. It's definitely going to be something that is daytime appropriate and nighttime appropriate. If you wanted to dress it up a little bit more, you could add a winged liner or put a dark lip with it. You could definitely take off this color on the lower lash line. I really like it and it's something different for me. But if you had a bare lower lash line, that would look bomb. Or you could just put the same colors on the top on the bottom as well. You could definitely put a more bold lip with this, but I just like to go with a nude lip for dates because it's way easier to touch up with a nude lip. With like a red lip or a bold lip, it can be really messy if you need to touch up your lipstick on a date. I hope you guys are doing really well and I have missed you. And yeah, um, I can't wait to share my series with you. Like, I mean, I can wait because I'm shitting myself. I'm so scared, but yeah, stay tuned and 
I'm, I am excited to connect with you on like another level and share what I've been going through and help people that need help and you know help those or just you know be someone that you can relate to if you're going through something similar <sighs> I'm like seriously terrified so anyway hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you next time bye